let's discuss about the dash board okay mm -hmm. dashboard right let's create a dashboard and uh, you can see okay. dashboard i'm creating that uh, as it is okay because we have a couple of data right what of data we have so so when you wanted to create a dashboard so you have an option right create a dashboard give the dashboard name uh, so we have okay mm -hmm. so once you create a dashboard you will get a page you can my this one now here all the tiles are available. So suppose you want to have a host here, just to keep it something like this. So time size is small, you want to get types, medium. This is a time size for host here. Right. So this is just like a mm -hmm. drag and drop. So again, I have added. Mm -hmm. Now you can see network metric. Just to drag it and put it. Here. Okay. Again, drag. Again, edit. Now you want to have service. The so health and dog just to drag and drop. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so now you have done the integration, then you can add things. Top web application. Like this one. So they have a lot of times that you can take a, a drag and drop. Like you want to have mm -hmm. a synthetic monitor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, database has database performance. So particular database in the setup. Browser monitors. Select the monitors. So we'll get that. Right, so just a drag and drop. This is a basic method. Right, you wanted to have a performance of that uh, survey, that synthetic, mm -hmm. that database, that board, that network. And then you can see there will be a problem. Mm -hmm. There will be a, a smart escape topology. So that will give you that information. That is one part, right? Want to have yeah, this is the default dashboard what they have provided right uh, default so mm -hmm. if you wanted to have a header you can put it something like this the basic infrastructure mm -hmm. now so this are the just basic okay Mm. Now let's wanted to have a custom. So custom, either this is mm. a visualization, either graph, your pie chart, your top list, a single, your table, heat map, honeycomb, stack. Okay? So you mm. take anyone, I don't matter. Okay. So later on, based on that, which is why I'm taking graph. Mm. Okay. And title I'm having CPU users. Hmm. Okay. Now done. done. Yeah. So this came. Okay. Now again edit. Scroll right and configure tiling data store. So all the metrics will be available in the data. 
So everything, now, right? Ah, uh, all the methods. Custom methods, okay? Mm -hmm. So now I'm using CPU engines. Yes. So now you see active gate we have JVM CPU. So I need a CPU just for particular host, right? Mm -hmm. For all the hosts. So we'll take we'll taking metrics called built-in host CPU engines. <coughs> Average, we want a split by host. Mm -hmm. right. So it is giving the graphs, right? What you can understand? You can't understand yeah. anything, right? Yeah. For which one higher now I can understand for this. But this many hosts we have, which one you can understand? Mm -hmm. Very difficult, mm -hmm. right? So I can mm -hmm. change the visualization. Instead of graph, I can put a uh, top list that will look fine, right? This will give the okay. complete information, correct? Which one is higher in top? <coughs> in that case, you will come to know, right? These are uh, this high information, correct? Mm -hmm. So here it is giving that limit is 100. You can see there's the 100 list. If you give limit is 20, if you run this, you'll get only 20. Okay. Okay. So here we have limit. Now I have done the changes and save change to that. <coughs> now you wanted to put something green, yellow again on the configure tile. Mm -hmm. Now this one, right? When it is threshold, when it is like uh, greater and equal to 70, hmm. like a green, 80 yellow, 90 red. Right? Okay. Right. So you can do this. So this one 80, right? So it is in yellow. Okay. So like this, you can put and say this. Mm -hmm. so done. Now, if 20 is not visible, you can expand this part. Correct? Mm -hmm. Done. Now, let's add a more. Memory. Oh, sorry. We'll take a graph. You have to go to Data Explorer. Uh, so, graph title you can give memory. Mm -hmm. Then you can practice uh, that we have right environment. Mm -hmm. environment. The same environment mm -hmm. you can practice. You can create it. Out. So, MP, okay. So, memory. Now, now I am. It is not something we take used memory. The memory use is coming for extension. No, we don't want. Hmm. I need for host. So memory use, built-in host memory use, which is, right? Mm -hmm. So it is giving you percentage, so split by host. Mm -hmm. So now you can see we are getting, instead of- This memory per host, correct? Yeah, per host. So this host is 97%, 96%, you can put that. Mm -hmm. Like 70% uh, green, 80% yellow, uh, mm -hmm. So something like this, you can put and save change to that. So done. Can expand it. Okay. 
then again you add it now this this graph not this calculator data explorer So this queue, PCT, this queue, built in both this queue. But uh, it is not giving percentage, right? So we will not pump know what is the maximum, what is that, right? So I don't need this. This used percentage. Let <clears throat> by hours and this. Now it is giving which one was pending? Hmm. So seventy. Okay. <clears throat> uh, now let's add a process. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, process you. Process CPU users. Same way you can take the process memory uses. Mm -hmm.
So this one you understand how that basic matrix you want. Okay. Yeah. Now, so you understood now in depth. Not suppose you want to have a heap of right? Hmm. How much is better? Thank you. If memory could be used, how much it is better? So like this, you can add a basic matrix. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basic matrix, uh, all the matrix will be available. Now, suppose you wanted to add some limits. Like you filter some data. That you data that you put it in the link. So that is called as a markdown. Yeah. Now I wanted to add a link for which page. So I want to enter it. And you enter by application editor. Okay. So this link I wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay. As something you filtered and that link you wanted to add, so this you can link you can put it here. Okay. Link the name you can give. Easy to right? Mm -hmm. yeah, this you put simple. Okay. Let's remove this. This mark dot kind of also. Okay. I put double hash. We got something. Bigger. Now you put one mm. half, a more bigger, right? So like mm -hmm. this, I can do that. Now, if I keep this link, it will directly go there. It will directly redirect the same thing. I will tell you. Showing everything, right? So this one, right? Here, pin to dashboard is there. Okay, that's different. That is different. Now you are trying to add a link. Link.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not working, right? Mm -hmm. Filter is not. If you go to my host, mm -hmm. let's try for host. So, tag. Okay. Okay. With uh, Citrix, okay. Mm -hmm. Citrix, all how many was? We have this one, right? With this one, you open a new tab. If it is working as a with only Citrix, then we can. So it is not taking the tab, you cannot take. But you can pin to that page. Suppose you wanted to have a database page in your there, you can have that particular page. Just to copy this mm -hmm. one, go to here, and add it. Yeah. And think, like this, close bracket. Okay. Go back, open a new bracket. Here you add what we have data. It has added right now. Mm -hmm. Suppose if you give one hands to see how it is getting changed. Mm -hmm. If you do triple double hands, see it is a medium. Okay, the size size will get increased. Mm -hmm. Triple hands, mm -hmm. four hands. Mm -hmm. But size you can change it. Mm -hmm. Done much. So this will create a link. Click this automatically redirect to that page database page. No need to go and search here and again. So in dashboard, this should add to the link wherever whichever is required. Okay, you can add mm -hmm. some uh, link. If one link dashboard will link to another dashboard. Then you can add as a, another dashboard link. So okay. This dashboard you understood, you should go to that application dashboard, of course, this application. In, in mm -hmm. Just you, you add another dashboard link over here. They can directly click on that. It will redirect to that, that, that dashboard. Mm -hmm. That you understood, right? So now, yeah. You can add up, see somewhere you wanted to have a host image, that image, right? You can mm -hmm. add as an image. Let's say host.
what is the image you know right uh, that logo you can say right like uh, somewhere yeah. like uh, this logo you want to draw that right, address logo this mm -hmm. no most logo mm -hmm. what i will do is i will go to that uh, snipping tool mm -hmm. take this okay mm -hmm.
select the zone Save the changes to that. Now, if I open this and just copy this link, what is telling anomaly, anomaly, anonymous access means anybody can uh, open this gadget who doesn't yeah. have private portal access. Who mm has -hmm. internet they can access? Huh. Huh, anybody can see this data. You can also see. Let's see, mm. we are not logged in yet. You can see the last and the HTML. Why? Because uh, when, like, suppose when there was issue was happening. Okay? Mm. Now, once issue was happened, now management says, "Hey, can you send me the dashboard or like mm. uh, or the screenshot or something?" I wanted to see where it was the issue. I wanted to move further, yeah, add something, yeah, I would like to send an email or something, publication to me or something. Then in that case, either you send me that screenshot to them, you cannot, you cannot give access, right? Director and all to that portal. Yeah. If you see that, then uh, they'll tell you why is this any problem with there, why where it was issue. <laughs> then there will be so many questions, right? So here, right. that, what you can do, you can create an anonymous link and you can give it to them. So once you click, you can open the dashboard, you can understand where is the problem or the things, and you can see and you can, based on that, you can take an action what you need. So that you can. So now, now you can go to insert in the dashboard. Now, so you can see. Okay. Now, so while creating a dashboard, now I am filtering with zone. Now we have all right. Mm -hmm. Now you have filtered with citrix. Automatically it will get in recovered. Current mm -hmm. time service of the filter with pet human. Nine. Filter with user. Okay, so there is a two way either while creating a dashboard, let's uh, select this. Let's edit, select this. Here you can see that one is custom time frame. You can see so by default, it will down in Bennett and dashboard, it will give you the last two hours. Before. By default. Mm -hmm. So now if I modify, like it should show last 30 minutes, and so the last 24 hours, so, so last 24 hours, right? And so last one part. Second part, that is your like all uh, if you wanted to see a dashboard, like uh, it should show last two hours, a last one hour. That is your wish, right? Mm -hmm. But by mm -hmm. default, it will be last two hours. Mm -hmm. Now, second thing. When you are creating a zone, right? You are creating so better you create zone space. So now I have created a VM bin. So this is this data. Now see, now we have filter out. Mm -hmm. Now filter. Now here you will not come anything, but here you can see filter option, right? Mm -hmm. Once you click, then you can see management units cloud VMware. Yeah. Correct. But this doesn't have any filter. It, it is taking for all. All services. Okay. All services. So when you are creating uh, like a dashboard, <laughs> a particular application team, a particular team, a particular development team, a particular environment, you do, if you have a management zone specified for uh, like you are going through your uh, like uh, complete setup. Based on the management zone, you when you are creating a metric, but then you add management zone. Okay, so it will be good for us. Like when you have like you are a global and you create a one dashboard, you can filter the zone. That is fine. Okay, but uh, but when you are giving access, right? It, will, it should be a zone specific, right? Now you are going to uh, Citrix team. I should not give access to all. Correct. 
Like you yeah. should contact the only sector force, sector service, sector process, sector sector safe memory, sector synthetic management, all those things. Right? We don't want to see for a other application. Mm -hmm. So to avoid that, you can uh, you when you are adding a matrix, yeah, default uh, that uh, drag and drop default matrix is there, right? When you are adding, you add that uh, zone. I mean, it, Filter that zone, it will show you that data only for that zone. Okay. 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 Now, if you see, so now this you understand. Now, very Now, one more thing. Now, if you wanted to export, you can export this data as a JSON file. Like, uh, and again, you can upload that. So, means uh, suppose you have multiple tenants, like you are supporting two customers, you have three customers. Okay. Then, what you can do is once you have created a one dashboard in one tenant, you can uh, download that JSON file and you can import the JSON file. Again, this JSON could not be imported error. Mm -hmm. Imported error for this. A lot limit of the dashboard has been already exceeded. Okay, so 2000 dashboard is already exceeded. That is the reason, but you can import it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you can import also. One. So either you can import from the year, which may export that JSON file from the year also. Yeah, you go to that setting. Now. Download as good as you just on. You can download. Same file. Okay. Add dynamic filter. You can add some type of filter. Add filter. You can add some filter there. So this way you can do it. Now suppose somebody has created the dashboard. Okay? They publish as a preset as a blue axis. Okay. Now same dashboard you wanted to create for other accounts. In that you are supporting two customers. Okay? And your onshore team has created one dashboard. Okay. And on that same dashboard, you wanted to create another income, another account, another customer. So what, how you can like uh, like you, then how you can do that? So that means mm. like one way is manual. You go and create, see mm. how it was created, and based on that you design copy paste, just like uh, mm. in as a reference, and you are doing it. And second way, you are doing a cheating. Cheating means like uh, suppose this dashboard got created. Okay, I can what I can do is I can clone this data. Mm -hmm. Once it's cloned, this is your dashboard. Mm -hmm. If you see another dashboard before clone, you cannot edit to modify. See, you cannot <coughs> edit, right? You cannot share, you can subscribe, you can export. But mm -hmm. but if you clone it. Okay, this is your uh, task. Now you have all the options clone, share, subscribe, export, delete, okay. Now I can export. Mm -hmm. Again, I can export it for other. This way also you can. Mm -hmm. 
And if this you can see that the red color you see, then the plugin for cycle for this one for getting this matrix. No, not matrix. If you are seeing mm -hmm. the right, the red color, the yellow correct, color, correct, correct. coloring, you can see in the dashboard, right? Correct. If there is a plugin. Mm -hmm. so, so. Ah, really, really, my hmm. team that is called Dynatrix team. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Okay, there. Yes. <coughs> Earlier it was there. Okay. I, mean, I, was, I was using it. Earlier it was there. Now I think it was added uh, here. Okay. Early, but earlier. To so, so, so this, uh, like it was with uh, there was some extension you need to upload, then it will show the data like this, like uh, B in the end of the This is the way of getting the dashboard. Uh, you can you have access, right? you try to create a dashboard. Okay? Any dashboard. Sure. Any dashboard you take as an example. Uh, yeah. What what if uh, we don't have any metrics in the data explorer and uh, you want? I mean, I'm saying the custom metrics. Yeah. So sometimes mm -hmm. if there is no metric in the data, okay? like you are looking for some data. Uh, mm -hmm. but that is not applicable, correct? Mm -hmm. Let's see, uh, there is no, like, uh, if you think like uh, in the world, there is a file, uh, like uh, there is 500 supported technology. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. that, like each and every matrix, like uh, data dog we have, yeah, app dynamics, we have the same matrix you get, right? Mm -hmm. Most of the case will get it. And some of the mm. case you're not getting the same matrix, but you will get mm. some su supplement, right? Mm. Like same uh, same type of matrix you'll get. Now, suppose if you don't get it, then there is a way you can go, go to shipping and create a custom service. Yes, monitoring our monitor technology, add new technology. So here you yeah, you see, yeah, yeah, correct. You said, me. yeah, okay. so here you can create a custom. Okay, we need to write some plugin like Python or uh, something. So. Uh, so, add metrics. No, without plugin, mm -hmm. also you can create. Now, suppose mm -hmm. I'm trying to take the Apache top
I wanted to have a garbage collection. Garbage collection. You can think. So we have collection form, collection time, mark, GC info, GC name, object name, garbage. Hmm. Okay. So I need this one. Which one? I need a garbage collection. Form. Okay. So you want to count mean, max, sum. Okay. Which one? Some, some. Some. Mm. Mm. Then save. Okay. Add to us. So once you have added this garbage collection collection count, it will be get added over here in the uh, where matrix and okay. So one so one mm. way to get create a matrix in this way. Okay. Mm. Like basic mm -hmm. matrix based on the technology, you will get it. Okay, mm -hmm. like so same thing we did for Java, right? Now we have a lot of options. Okay. Now we did for Apache, because again we did for uh, Java. Same way we have the process, and we have the email. all those things you can get uh, like out of 10, suppose you are not getting uh, three or four or five metrics, like you can get it here. Now we did Java. Mm -hmm. Now let's select for contact changes. Okay. Now you what you want to connection, right? JDBC connection. Correct. Mm. So you are getting this. Now if you search matrices program, may you will get uh, uh, JDBC connection. If you are not getting it, you are getting from the here. Explore data. There is no matrix. See, connection. Connection is there for connection for for something. Okay, this is something. Hmm. But not there. Connection pool is there for JBoss is there. But Tomcat is not there. In that case, what do you mean? So, like this, we can create. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like this, you can create. So, out of uh, five, ten matrix, five matrix as it you will get it here. Now, suppose you wanted to have like uh, consumer current messaging queue matrix. Mm -hmm. Right. So, now, mm -hmm. so messaging queue search. Consumer current consumer current there is no matrix. Yeah. There is no matrix. A rabbit empty consumer is there. Okay. But there is no like a total consumer quantity active empty is there. So this type of messaging too, right? There either you can use rabbit empty. Yeah, active MQ, which one Kafka <laughs> also is a uh, MQ, right? <laughs> Messaging queue. So Correct. we have, so we have request size, consumer count, all those things which is there. So you mm -hmm. need to search. Yeah, a Hornet queue also is there. So you need to search proper way. Mm -hmm. Consumer count, same way, consumer current count, message pending count. Message. <laughs> Naming will be different, so you need to search uh, proper way. Message Rabbit and Q we have message for this rabbit and Q we have Azure IT have also they have messaging messaging system. So like this, you need to find that matrix proper way. If it is not getting, then you need to develop a plugin. 
either okay. uh, one agent plugin yeah have to give so you see monitor technology first of all now they have to plug like mysql remote monitor so what are the metrics they are taking this many metrics for sql they are one page second page third page mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now you want to use this extension you can download Mm -hmm. oh, and save you upload. So this is an active gate. You need to upload in active gate. So you need to go to the monitor technology, add new technology. So one is this is for one agent, right? Mm -hmm. This is for active gate. So you need to upload. I don't have access, but you need to upload. This is for custom monitoring, right? Uh, active custom. gate. One of the advantages of active gate. Uh, one of the advantages also is right, to have yeah. a plugin and extension. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that extension. Okay. So like this, you need to create a Okay. Yeah. So try to create a two G dashboard because there will be lot. There is so many types of dashboard in the environment. To go through that, which dashboard is you thinking like uh, is useful for you, mm -hmm. your uh, uh, understanding, which dashboard you open this. You search with like uh, name, like you wanted to have some testing level, right? Mm -hmm. Performance. So license or you can add a tag, which tag then. Any <clears throat> performance performance. This many we have performance. Mm -hmm. so which dashboard is used? availability and performance this is useful for you to go to the tab understand it uh, if you thinking this dashboard it looks good for you then you clone it clone mm -hmm. yeah then once yeah. you get a clone then you will get an option to edit modify mm -hmm. everything right and same mm -hmm. page you open a new dashboard tab and you try to create it on same dashboard mm -hmm. yeah? So once you try it, uh, one year dashboard, two dashboard, year three dashboard, you create, you will get a uh, perfection like how to create a dashboard. Okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this dashboard mm -hmm. can we create a dashboard for uh, you know right how we pin to the dashboard the user sessions or the key user action? No, we can pin it to the dashboard, right? Ah, so but like can we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you go back, now you can see that the key user, which are the uh, users actually like uh, session, like it is very important for you, like login page or something. Yeah. And now select this is the key user, right? Mm. So let's do one. So this is a key user. You wanted to pin to this, which it has what I wanted to pin. Uh, where do you want to pin? Okay. So, training, right? In front. Right? Okay. Got pins? Right? Mm. Now you are getting which application loading a page assign that you are holding. Now you are getting that, right? So mm -hmm. you are getting the information. Like this, also you can uh, some custom thing from that portal. Also, you can even like you filter some host, you can right now. Tag, okay, citrus. Okay. How many hosts you have, right? This one, right? You have to print to the tag. You can also only this. 
Mm-hmm. Anything you can put in, uh, like service, some service like a uh, login service, yeah, logout service, yeah, payment service, mm-hmm. something you wanted to uh, like uh, monitor. Mm-hmm. So, uh, any service you put, this service you wanted to monitor in your dashboard. Put it in that, you put it in dashboard. Mm. Click here. In the so in that, what you get like uh, the service response time. Uh, mm. Then what you how many requests concurrent requests currently because you have to there in the value. Mm. And now now you need to think right. It by mm. default it will give you last two hours. Okay. Mm. So uh, you need to decide like it should be a last one hour data. Yeah. More data it should be there. by default it's taking two hours, right? Mm-hmm. So you need to decide uh, like how you want to keep the so the data in task for like last two hours, last one hour, last 30 minutes, last 24 hours, it should so in that one. That is you need to do that. Based on that, you can okay. Can we get the dashboard for a service flow? Service? Service flow. Uh, that uh, uh, yeah. So when no, you expand that, a service, you... okay. That service flow you cannot get. You cannot get right. But suppose you have a service. Okay, service. someone was asking actually. So okay. Service flow you can this service flow. Yeah, can yeah. Can we pin this to a dashboard? No, right. No, no. This dashboard. Okay. okay. But this link you can try to add, and let's see. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. We can add and uh, if you click on the link, then it might show. Hmm. Let's try this. Yeah. Mm. Hash. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. You can give the link. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, is... what link I Let's go to this. But you gave the wrong URL. Yeah, last time I gave the wrong. Okay. Okay. That's Got it. Okay, this fine. Okay, this way I can tell them this approach. There is no direct approach to pin to dashboard, but uh, link markdown link. link. You can do that markdown. Okay, then that's yeah. it for today. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, Deepak. Tomorrow we'll meet.